Shure has just released another version of the SM7 microphone and it is called the SM7DB. But do you really need the SM7DB and which type of creator is the SM7DB for? Let's find out. Welcome in the studio guys, I am Flash and in this episode we discuss about microphones again. I will tell you right from the start, if you already have a SM7B microphone, you don't need to upgrade. So what is the catch with the new SM7DB microphone? The SM7DB is the latest microphone released by Shure and it is not an upgrade to the SM7B but an alternative. The only difference between the microphones is that the DB model has an integrated preamp which really is a cloud lifter or a fathead that sits inside the microphone housing. And of course you can choose to use it or not with the switches that sit on the bottom of the microphone. Yeah, the new microphone has one or two more switches on the bottom. The integrated preamp has two modes which can provide either plus 18 dB of gain or plus 28 dB of gain which will allow you to use the microphone connected to an older mixer let's say or maybe an older generation Focusrite. And being that those devices do not have powerful enough preamps, you will manage to drive the SM7DB by using phantom power and its internal uh, preamp. So let's rewind a bit to the part where I've said that if you already have a SM7B microphone, you don't need to upgrade to the SM7DB. Chances are that if you already have a SM7B microphone in your audio setup, you've somehow managed until now to get a good signal out of the microphone. So you might already have a cloud lifter, which I currently use in my audio chain, or maybe you have a fourth generation Focusrite 2i2, which can handle the SM7B with no problem because it has a lot more powerful preamps than the older generations. And let's not forget about the newer devices from Rode which I currently use right now to record this video like the Rodecaster Pro 2 which are some pretty popular devices in the creator's setups nowadays and they use the Revolution preamp which is pretty good and it can provide a maximum of plus 76 dB of gain. So if you have one of these you shouldn't even think about getting the SM7 dB. But here are three situations where you might consider getting it. One, you don't already have a SM7B microphone and you want to future-proof yourself and getting the new DB version will allow you to use the microphone even if you don't have a good enough preamp available. Two, getting the SM7DB for on-camera audio if you use the hot shoe preamps from Sony or Panasonic for example which also provide plus 48 volt phantom power and that will allow you to bake a good clean signal from the SM7B or DB microphone into the footage directly. Everything will be synced and you don't have to do extra work in post unless you want to process the audio. But here again, if you were using the SM7B in this scenario with a cloud lifter, the only thing that you will gain by getting the SM7DB is the comfort of not having a lot of cables dangling around and the cloud lifter and the extra cable. So yeah, you'll just have a cleaner setup. And three, if you are a collector and you really like the design of the new microphone, which has a new stealthy logo on the side and some new green accents here and there. All of these sound like the SM7DB is an alternative to the SM7B and not an upgrade. And uh, this is so true because uh, it really is the same microphone, but it has just the cloud lifter inside its housing. The price difference is 100 US dollars, so I think it is fair. A very big pro in my opinion is that the preamp sits inside the microphone housing, so it is very close to the microphone and it will not amplify other noises that will be picked up by the cables or other noises generated by the devices in your studio like RGB lights, Wi-Fi routers and so on. This is my SE Electronics Dynamite DM1 which is uh, a preamp like the fathead but is a bit thinner and it looks better in my opinion. I've uh, covered it in black uh, electrical tape and it provides 28 dB of gain and the audio engineers will agree with me that the best way to use a similar preamp will be to have it plugged in right into the microphone or very close to it because it will amplify also the noises that are picked up by the cable. These things do their job pretty well but they are not the best preamps on the market so you cannot compare an SM7B amplified by this thing with a 
$100,000 preamp, which uh, will uh, be found in a recording studio or something like that. So you can take this as an advice, try to keep your cloud lifter as close as you can to the microphone. So yeah, same mic, same sound, a bit different design and an integrated cloud lifter. I'm so glad that I don't have to upgrade my SM7B to the SM7DB, but I will probably end up adding one to the collection in the future. If you have any questions about the SM7B or the SM7DB, leave them in the comments and I will answer them there. And until next time, check out the other videos from the studio. Flash out. They call me a girl.